Good morning. This Mass is being streamed live, and for those of you who are joining us from home, welcome. We're glad you could be with us this morning. Today's Mass is being offered up for the deceased Jose Mendez, Jr. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Coming together as God's family, let us acknowledge your sins and ask for God's love and mercy. I confess to Almighty God, and to, and to you, you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in, in what I have done and, and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my, fault, through through my, my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, our Virgin, Virgin, all the angels, angels and saints, and, saints, and you, and my you, brothers my and brothers sisters, and sisters to, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that celebrating the mysteries of the Lord's resurrection, we may merit to receive the joy of our redemption. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Those who had been scattered by the persecution that arose because of Stephen went as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch, preaching the word to no one but the Jews. There were some Cypriots and Cyrenians among them, however, who came to Antioch and began to speak to the Greeks as well, proclaiming the Lord Jesus. The hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number who believed turned to the Lord. The news about them reached the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to go to Antioch. When he arrived and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced and encouraged them all to remain faithful to the Lord in firmness of heart, for he was a good man filled with the Holy Spirit and faith, and a large number of people was added to the Lord. Then he went to Tarsus to look for Saul, and when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year they met with the church and taught a large number of people, and it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response will be, all you nations praise the Lord. All the you nations, nations praise, praise the, the Lord. Lord. His foundation upon the holy mountains the Lord loves. The gates of Zion, more than any dwelling of Jacob, glorious things are said of you, O city of God. All, all you nations, nations praise the Lord. I tell of Egypt and of Babylon, among those who know the Lord, of Philistia, Tyre, Ethiopia. This man was born there, and of Zion, they shall say, one and all were born in her, and he who has established her is the Most High Lord. All you nations, praise the Lord. They shall note when the peoples are enrolled, this man was born there, and all shall sing, in their festive dance, my home is within you. All you oh, nations, Jesus. praise the Lord. May Your Almighty Lord. God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Go and proclaim the good news. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The feast of the dedication was taking place in Jerusalem. It was winter, and Jesus walked about in the temple area on the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered around him and said to him, How long are you going to keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you, and you do not believe. The works I do in my Father's name testify to me. But you do not believe, because you are not among my sheep. My sheep hear my voice. I know them, and they follow me. 
I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one can take them out of my hand. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all, and no one can take them out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord. The first reading talks about uh, immediately after the death of Stephen. The followers of Jesus fled to different places, fear, feared about their persecution. <coughs> but something what is very important to learn, that no matter where they went, they continue to proclaim the good news. That the seeds which has been planted in their lives, in their faith, they continue to proclaim the good news. So the persecution was not the end for them to proclaim the risen Christ. I start asking myself sometimes, you hear people, they say, I don't know what is going on about me. They stop coming to church. Or sometimes when they encounter some difficulties in life, they say, I don't want to come to church. But today, in the first reading, reminds us, we all encounter difficulties in our lives. The risen Christ is our source of life. The risen Christ is our key of life. No matter what you encounter in your life, come forward and see he's ready to make the difference in your life. And that's why in the gospel we hear, Jesus reminds that uh, he's a good shepherd and the sheep knows his voice and the sheep follows him Wherever they go, he's leading us. So even at the time when we experience challenges of life, let us remember he's with us. I remember when the ISIS started vandalizing the Christians and persecuting the Christians in the Middle East. They fled all over the world. But when Pope Francis went this year, some they started even witnessing that now they have come back to the Middle East after that persecution. You can understand that God always is with us, even at the time when we experience problems in our lives. Dear friends, let us ponder in our journey of life and accept who we are, and learn from what Jesus is telling us. He knows us by our names. And he is calling us so that we can follow him, and he will guide us and gives us healing and life and peace. Where two or three are gathered in my name, I am also with you. The good shepherd is always with us. Don't lose your faith. Don't lose your love, but continue to strengthen as these first Christians did in their journey of life. Amen. Please stand. Lord Jesus, we thank you for the gift of faith. And as we continue to ponder the experience of the first Christians, though they undergo difficulties and persecution in their journey of life, still, they continue to proclaim the good news, the good news of love and faith. And, faith. and for this, we pray. Amen. We know sometimes it's not easy when we find the difficulties in our lives or when we encounter problems. Give us courage and send the Holy Spirit to guide us. And for this, we pray. We know that you have called us to proclaim the good news. Give us strength always to recognize the needs of others 
and especially for those who have lost their faith. And for this, we pray. We pray for our parish, for each and everything what we do. Give us strength always to remember one thing, that you are always with us, even at the time we have lost our faith. And for this, we pray. We ask thee through Christ our Lord. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will come for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will come our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find a delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just to return our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to load you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, Evil land and evil people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to that who have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that in partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Mary our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Jose Mendes, Jr., whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in no mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from evil, evil. Gracious grant peace in, the, grant peace in, our, in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share with each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the sup of the Lamb. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, 
and I desire to receive you into my soul, since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The Christ had to suffer and rise from the dead and so enter into his glory at Alleluia. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. On behalf of Dick and Jim, I would like to say thank you so much for coming and also for your prayers and for your participation. And for those who are watching <clears throat> live stream us also, I want to say thank you so much for your prayers and for your participation. I want to wish you all the best for this wonderful week and may God continue to give us strength to proclaim the good news. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God.